So we're down here at the waterline and this is the area where the marine processes take place and form some of the features that you can see over my shoulder. And although the sea is very calm today, we've all seen images and films that really show the power that the sea can exert on the coastline. Let's go and investigate how those processes actually work. So we can see from all this debris that's lying around here that obviously something has been happening to this cliff. Hydraulic action, or quarrying, is where the waves crash along the base of the cliff, forcing air and water into the cracks. And as we can see here at Flamborough Head, the cliff face is full of these cracks. We've got vertical joints and horizontal bedding planes. If we can imagine a huge winter swell, massive waves crashing along the base of this cliff, where's the water going to go? It's going to force itself and air into the cracks and every single wave exerts forces onto these cracks until eventually the cracks grow and bits fall away. Once a piece of rock has been detached from the cliff, it now effectively becomes a piece of ammunition for the sea. You can imagine a huge swell picking up pieces of material like this and hurling them right at the base of the cliff, eroding the cliff away. We call this process abrasion. So as these pieces of material bang into the base of the cliff and knock into each other, tiny fragments start to break off as they are in my hand right now. And over time, these pieces of material will become smaller, smoother and more rounded. And we call this process attrition. We're now going to head down to the waterline to have a look at the last process of erosion. Finally, soluble particles can be dissolved by seawater and this process is called solution and it's aided here by acids in the seawater that help dissolve the calcium carbonate in these chalk rocks. <laughs> 